So these clustered databases like Aerospike, they're claiming that they just keep running and they have no downtime. But everyone knows you've got to have maintenance windows and occasionally just things go wrong, right? Hardware fails. I mean, you can't do that. And fortunately, this is how I used to think uh, about seven to eight years ago. Uh, before I started working at one of the internet companies, you know, it was actually Yahoo. And what I learned was very interesting. The internet never sleeps. It never slows down. And every minute or every hour that something is down for maintenance, you lose customers who never come back. Now this is basically the new enterprise today. And therefore you do need databases which have enough self-management capabilities so they can keep running in the presence of failures. And what that means is when you write code, all code that's written in a database needs to be written in such a way that the database can run as a service forever. And this is very important. And it just works. Yeah, but uh, come on. You can't just say that it has never gone down. You're always going to need these things. Sure, the internet needs these things, but, but databases just don't work that way. The important thing is uh, there is always failures. There is 100% guaranteed that nodes will go down. But one, one can do in code is to ensure that every possible edge case that, one, that will happen when a node goes down is handled well, so that there is no call to an operator at night. In fact, if you, if you ask me, the whole point of running an internet service is to make sure you don't get called. And that's really important. And what this means is not that failures don't happen, but the system continues to run as a service with all the extra uh, capabilities that it has in terms of new nodes, in terms of extra, you know, what do you call headroom, which our performance, for example, of Aerospec gives you, it gives you a more robust system which can handle these um, buffeting winds of failures. That's all we're saying, and uh, we've seen that it just works. Sure, buffeting winds of failure are fine, but there's going to be a point where the system goes down. I mean, you just can't say that it, it has zero downtime. Every system has downtime at some point. I mean, you just, it, it just happens. Which is true. An individual system like a cluster can go down completely in a data center. We've had that happen to some of our customers during the um, sandy storm which hit the East Coast about a couple of years ago. However, we had other clusters which were running. So in fact, the way we set up these systems is very interesting because you have these tightly coupled, strong running, you know, robust clusters which are sitting in one data center, which are hooked to other clusters elsewhere, typically three or four of them all over the world, to the extent that they just keep running all the time and people don't even take backups anymore because your data is always live at some point or the other in the world. Now if the whole world goes down, of course we're going to be down, but that's not something we, you know, anybody can plan for. So it just works.